So right now working on 2009 Subaru Outback. The drive shaft is completely shot from what I was told. So I'm gonna replace it. Okay, look like it's the U joints. So that's the U joint that looks like this went all the way back. So I'm just gonna replace the whole unit. I was trying to take it apart. There you go. So all the bushings, everything is worn out. So this thing was ready to fall out. So these are 12s. We just gotta break those loose. These are 14, I believe. Or it's, yeah, 14s. And then you just slide it out. So that's the process. So now they're loose. I'm just gonna get the ratchet and wrench to take that out. And I'm gonna start working on this one. This one should be a 14. Take those down, get a pan for the transmission just in case anything falls out. And then I can start the actual removal process. We're removing these bolts now. I have a pan underneath there just to catch the any fluid that slips out of transmission. those two bolt removed the drive shafts dropped and that one is still secure and that's a slip yoke this is a slip yoke that goes inside the transmission so now I just gotta slowly maneuver this down pull the drive shaft back towards the rear of the vehicle and that should give me enough room to snake that portion out and then I could pull it forward and down towards the front so we're gonna pull it back towards the rear of the vehicle and then we're gonna slide this section down past that side on the passenger side of the vehicle. It's a little tight to get it out. What I'm gonna do is take off this hanger for the exhaust. It should lower it a little bit. I don't wanna take the exhaust out because as you can see, it's gonna rust, it's gonna cause me more issues and I wanna do it right now. So I'm just gonna lower that bolt. It should be a 14 and a 12, get rid of that bracket and then I should be able to take everything out. This is how. So now I'm just gonna snake it forward. Um, loosening that bracket did help give me a little bit more movements in the back, but 
that's what I recommend to loosen that bracket a little bit before you start pulling the dry shaft out you get about an extra quarter inch or half an inch of space so you could actually pull the whole thing out out oh, got a bit of bucket back so this is the old one this is the area that was damaged I guess the bushing just completely wore off the U-joint so instead of just changing that because we had to take it out anyway just bought a brand new one I'm about to compare it to make sure it is the correct one this is the replacement and the old one the replacement looks a little bigger the flange is definitely a lot thicker on this one but the bolt should be long enough to go through to make up the slack uh, and this is where it differs mainly it has a u-joint right here this has a little plunger joint but overall everything looks to be the same size so i'm just gonna throw it in and we should be good It's blind, so you kind of got to get it into the groove. So now that that side is in, just got to push it all the way up flush. Just going to line these up, put the bolts in just to hold it. And then I'll work on the differential. So from the previous clip, what I've done is I put that up there. I used the hammer and I hit this section a little bit. 
and it pulled it back. I guess we're just stuck inside. So now it barely so now it fits. All I gotta do is just hit a little bit more, put the screw in, and I could tighten everything up. So in a sense, and now I'm just gonna put that bolt on, secure it, and then start at the rear. I'm just basically using this one to work everything in so I could go and put the washer on every side because right now I'm on a creeper so any kind of pressure or force is just pushing me all over the place. Everything is tightened down. Um, in this case I guess you could just use any grade A 10 bolt 12 millimeter that goes you know nut and bolt but this is all I had I just reused the old hardware. It was a bit annoying but it worked. That's in. I'm just gonna tighten these up and then put the bracket back on for the exhaust. So everything went well with the car. The car is together. No issues. Dry shaft spins correctly. But I did notice that right there, there's a little, that little bracket that's welded to the exhaust is broken. So just make a little wobbly sound. So now, gotta take care of that next. I live inside my own world of make-believe